check check boom right there all right there we go <laughs> what's up everybody this is your boy chris rebeast back with another video in this video we are live streaming thursday mornings from 10 to 2 p.m as you can see this morning it's gonna be one of them streams now nah, man it's gonna be a great stream man it's gonna be a great stream we're gonna get up in here we're gonna cook up some beats we're gonna have some fun uh we're gonna relax we're gonna talk we're gonna you know what i'm saying have some fun and just relax, man. You know what I'm saying? The situation right now is just like, really? I really woke up this morning, like, what is music? What is a beat? What is production? I really woke up like, what What are these things? And really just on like another like planet. Cause I really was just like, I don't know. It's just like, sometimes I go in and make a beat and it's like, it's not beat block. It's not like, oh, you know, the inspiration isn't there. Or like, um, you don't know what you want to make. It's just really just like, what is the whole production? Like, what is this? What is this production situation? Like, you know, is it really just an 808, some trap drums and a cool little melody? You know what I'm saying? Maybe some chords. Like, is it just those four elements? You know what I'm saying? Or is it like much more? And I'm really starting to think and starting to re like shape and re evaluate like the music production process um because at least for me for the most part my music production process is it's basically just been like make something until it sounds good like make something until like you like what you're sounding like what you're hearing and and kind of just go with that process go with that flow but really it's been like i think it's a lot more to it than that and um, one of the things that really helped me to see it is when I made the beat in the laundromat, I made the beat in the laundromat. And actually, if you hear that beat when you are with me in the laundromat, and then you hear it when I put it on my channel, like I actually did a lot of stuff in between that time. So like the bulk of the beat was made. It was like maybe 90, 95% of the beat was made. So the melodies, the drums, every month, everything pretty much was where it was, you know what I'm saying? And then it was just that last like 5%, that last 5%, which was like sequencing. It was structure. It was, it was a theme. It was coming up with like a mood and a story to tell. It was like all these other like you know ideas and strategies and 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 it was all these other things besides the sound and the sound selection and the melody and the eight it was more than that it was like okay now let's think about how this sounds and let's actually put some thought into how it comes on how it starts let's put some thought into how it moves from from part to part, let's put some thought into, you know, how it's shaped around, like, you know, is there a buildup? Is there like, how long is the buildup? Like, is there a satisfaction when we get to the buildup or is it a letdown? Like that process didn't happen until I got back in the studio where it was like, okay, I made that beat at the laundromat. That was cool. That was like a fun video, but it's like, all right, now if I actually want to do something with this track, I can leave it here just like this, or I can add that last 5%. And the, and the last 5% isn't mixing either. Like the last 5% in that track was not mixing. Like a, a lot of people might think like, oh, the final product or the final process is like the mix and the master. And it's like, nah, like I still haven't mixed or mastered that beat. The five percent that made the beat complete to me, because honestly, I mean, you, you could take the track stems, give them to an engineer and they can mix it and they can master it. And like all of that is like technical details. And it's just like, all right, you know, get it to sound really good and make it sound good wherever I play it um, or even if I spend time to do it. But that's not really that's not really the full process of making the beat. That's just like a polish. So like, I'm really like, I had to take this moment to think. I haven't looked at chat yet. I see it's a few people in the building um, that's watching at least, but I haven't had a chance to look at the chat yet, especially because of my little setup, how I decided to, you know what I'm saying, come on the stream this morning. Um, 
but I wanted to talk about that creative process. And I hope that you guys are, you know, vibing with me with that as I'm thinking about it and thinking through it. Because what I'm noticing is, especially on these live streams, I never have a moment to do that last 5%. It's always me saying, get the four elements in, get chords, melodies, drums, and bass. Just get those four elements in and now it's a beat. But even in the way that you play your chords and the way that you play your melody and the way that the drums work with the bass, all of that really like doesn't come in to play for me until that last 5% where it's like, all right, cool. Now let's actually structure this thing and make it work for somebody specific or make it work for a specific case, make it work for a specific idea. All of that doesn't even come for me until the end. I know like some producers, they probably start with that. They probably start with, I'm going to actually shape this beat for blank artists. Or I'm going to make this track for sync placement. Like I want to do sync licensing. So I know that I want this to be on TV or in a movie. Um, so I'm, I'm going in with that idea that this is what I'm going to make. And I think some producers might start with that. And then, you know, maybe it turns and goes a different direction or they can stay focused and they don't have attention deficit like me where they can just stay on track and just keep it moving in that same direction. Um, I think some people might start. I think sometimes it might happen in the middle um, where it's like, all right, cool. We got a we got a basis. We got a base for what we want it to sound like. And now we're moving forward into actually structuring it into something else. Um, but for me, it's that doesn't that doesn't really happen until like the end. And I'll tell you one other time that that happens. It happens like that when I'm actually working with an artist, when I'm actually collaborating or working with somebody like that's when that really happens for me, where it's like, all right, I'm making the beat and like the artist can definitely tell like, all right, Chris, you finna get in your bag but I don't really need you in your bag right now. I need to actually be able to make a song out of this. So yes, the piano sounds beautiful. You know, save that for your live stream. I need something, you know what I'm saying, that I can work with. I don't need a whole bunch of melodies getting in the way of the singer's voice. Um, that drum pattern was dope, but it's like way too complicated. Like this is dope if you're just making beats as instrumentals. Right. So so in that way, it kind of helps you to structure and format better or differently, or at least you kind of start thinking about that last five percent a little bit earlier. So right now, I just wanted to take a moment to actually just talk and just center myself and just get focused. And I used to like look at other live streamers and music producers and like when I would watch them. I would like low key be like, no, nah, that's kind of corny or like I'll be like, oh, like that's not real. Like, oh, that's not going to help nothing. Like, just get started. And no, like today I when I when I got ready to do the stream, I was like, you need to actually take some time. You need to actually put forth some practice in your music, in your you know production, whatever it is. You need to actually take some time and you know center yourself and focus yourself and don't just get started right away you know it's a it's a different energy it's a different vibe when you're live because you guys are watching you guys are talking to me we're giving feedback to one another and so it's a different environment it's a different beast than when i'm like up at you know 1 a.m with the headphones on in my studio with the lights off, even like, even like that, right? Like ambiance is, is something different where it's like, I can't even really set the ambiance how I normally would if I'm in the studio because I want to actually make the stream look a certain way. So anyway, we're not making excuses. We're not doing that. What I'm saying is I'm taking this time to just simply talk and actually get my mind into a place to create. And I think that that is important. And I think that that's a step that we can't miss out on. We can't miss out on the, the step 
of putting your mind and your position in a creative space. I was watching this YouTube about mixing, right? I watched this like a long time ago. And what the guy said about mixing was, he said, when you're mixing, you want to make sure, I think I, I think his name is uh, Colt, uh, Colt Caparoon. He's when you're mixing, you want to put yourself into specific mindsets. You don't want to start in your mixing phase. You don't want to start doing things that you should do in other phases. So the way that he framed it was like there's phases in your creative process, in your music making process. There's a creative stage where you're actually creating. You're you're coming up with melodies. You're coming up with drum patterns, bass lines. You're actually doing all of those different things, right? You're creating. So it's like you're sculpting. You're you're chiseling out the different parts and pieces. You're 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 painting the picture. You're actually doing everything that actually comes with the work. And then in the mixing stage, you really shouldn't be doing things that you would do in the creative stage. So when it comes to mixing, like that's a whole nother mindset. It's a, a as he say, it's a it's another hat that you put on. Um, you don't want to have your creative hat on when you're in your mixing stage and you don't have your mixing hat on when you're in your creative stage. You want to separate. You want to separate the two. And so the idea is put yourself into a position of I'm going to create. And while you're creating, that's all that you're doing. You're creating new sounds. You're creating new melodies. You're creating new uh, uh, sequences. You're creating new uh, functions and, and new parts of the track. You're doing all of the creating in that phase. And if you get to the mixing phase and it's like, oh, I really want to add a drop here. I really want to add this there. Then really you're not in the mixing phase. And you need to just go back to creating like I had this idea about, OK, making a beat in one minute. I've seen this on YouTube too, something similar, making a beat in one minute. OK, now making a beat in 10 minutes. OK, making a beat in an hour. OK, making a beat in one day. OK, making a beat in one week. OK, making a beat in one month. OK, making a beat in one year. OK, so working on the same beat for one year, one month, one week or even one day just sounds like chaos to me. It sounds like I would just not be able to put myself in that mind frame at all to be able to do it because I would just be like, ah, oh, but I hear so many other things that I could do or I want to make this other kind of track. or I want to work on this other kind of track. And so that's just me, like, right, just a piece of me, my personality. But think about what that could do for the music if it was like every single intricate detail of this track has been perfected or has been worked on. Because making a beat in a minute, it's no way you can work out the intricate details. Ten minutes, no way you could work out the intricate details. An hour... Maybe if you're really fast in the first 10 minutes, you can spend 50 minutes on the intricate details. But really, you're going to lose a lot of nuance. If you spend a day working on one track, then you have time to actually put focus and energy into that music and into that project. That is going to make a total difference than cramming out four, five, six, seven tracks in a day right Kanye West forever has has uh damaged or you know done something to my creative process and thinking you know what I'm saying when he dropped that track a long time ago on college dropout and he said working and making five beats a day for three summers like it's like five beats a day for three summers that was like yeah 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 that's a producer that's that's a beat maker that's that's the goal that's what we need to be trying to do. Five beats a day, five beats a day, five beats a day, five beats a day. And it's like, if you don't make it to five beats a day, even if the one beat was really good, <laughs> you didn't make it to five beats. So you, you're lacking, you're slacking because it's like, well, he did it. And this is what he was able to do because he was making five beats a day, five bangers a day, five slappers a day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not, but we know where he is. We know what he did. 
So, but that kind of mentality, right, that has always, like, inflicted, you know what I'm saying, my thought process. So I always was like, make more, not make better. So I'm really just, I'm taking some time right now, you know what I'm saying? I hope that you guys are here, you know what I'm saying, to vibe out with me. I'm going to start checking the chat in a minute. I hope you guys are here to vibe out with me and, and relax and, you know what I'm saying, make some beats. Um, the pressure has been on me like a couple times, not really because of the stream, but just in life. Like in life, I'm like, I got to make something dope because blank. Like it's 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 moved and shifted from when I first started doing YouTube. Like, let me just when I first started doing YouTube, like the main thought process was have fun. It was, you're going to make beats, you're going to cook up beats. It don't matter what the titles and thumbnails say. You're just going to make beats and you're going to put stuff out there. And then it was like, yo, if you start moving into education and, you know, you actually focus down on one thing, then, you know, you'll get more subscribers and you can actually build your community and build your subscribership. And then you can actually start getting monetized on YouTube. So that became like, oh, that's that could be a cool thing. So now I went from having fun, just doing whatever you want to having a specific focus and a specific structure. So now it's less fun, but it's still fun. And and then the live stream started happening and it was the same thing. It was like, I'm actually coming on here to practice playing my chords. And if I happen to put some drums with those chords and that sounds cool, then that's great. And if I happen to drop a bass line on that, cool. And if y'all wanna call that a beat, I'm cool with that and we can go like that. It really was just like, I just want to play piano. I just want to have fun. I just want to relax. I just want to, this is my getaway. This is what I want to do. But it turns from that to, nah, you got to actually make something dope. Like you can't just be, you know what I'm saying? Just fiddling around. Like you can't just play wrong notes on your guitar for 30 minutes straight. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just do the thing that you started doing this for because now people are actually watching. And now people are actually like, yeah, you know, uh, it's like that one meme. What are you waiting for? I don't know, something amazing to happen. And it's just like, that's what people are doing. It's kind of like, well, you're waiting for something amazing, but like, this is the process. And so there's been like tons of times, like I'm like working on a track and it's like, yo, if I had stopped working on this track for like five seconds sooner, like, that would not have happened the whatever the that was like if i had if i had quit if i had gave up five seconds sooner that would not have happened but i didn't so that happened but it's all of these different things that come into play right this different pressure and the different you know things i haven't had a chance to talk about it or really understand it or unpack it or any of that it's just been like keep going Keep going, keep going, keep going. You see what's happening. You see where the page is going. You see where the channel is going. You 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 see the contacts and the connections that you're making. You see how God is pushing you forward. But it's like you got to actually take a moment and just think about it. You started this off like, I just want to have fun. I really just want to just, just do something I love and just do it. And somewhere along the line, it's like the fun meter like starts going down and like the responsibility meter starts going up, right? The fun, who is this? Bro, like what is y'all doing? Like, <laughs> the old is just going off. I don't, it ain't even nobody talking to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, it just be, it's just something else, man. Um. So the fun meter is going down, responsibility meters is going up. And so now it's like pushing you into a different mode. It's pushing you into a different grind. Um, but right now, today, in this process, what I'm doing right now, even by talking this out with you guys, not looking at the chat yet, because I'm like, I got to get my mind. I got to get my mind. It's early. It's like, you know. It's still 10 a.m. It's still 1030. I didn't think about any of that when I was like, yeah, Chris, every Thursday, do a stream, live stream, 10 a.m. I didn't think about it like, oh, are you going to be awake and alert 
are you gonna have foggy mind like <laughs> like are you good <laughs> like like you know i did that video a day in the life for me you know a, a a music producer a no name music producer i did that video and it was like listen the first thing i did 7 a.m was get up and take my wife to work and it's like i'm foggy brained like i don't have any kind of like I'm just basically on autopilot right now until like some coffee or some caffeine kick in. Like this is not, you know what I'm saying? Not a morning person, but it's like before the YouTube channel for the stream, for what you're trying to do with your creative process. And you're trying not to be in a hobby. It's not a hobby. You know, it's like, now nah, I'm not trying to just do something for a hobby. I'm trying to make this everything. I'm trying to push this to a point where it's like, this is it. Like, it's not just something that we're doing that's cool. It's like, nah, this is it. And like that takes away from everything else. So it's like, I want you guys to see that I really take this very seriously. Um, that like, this is important to me. Um, live streaming, being on camera, making videos, like that's been my life for years. I've been doing it with my church. I've been doing it with friends and family. I've been doing it myself just in different capacities. That's, that's what I do. Like, and that's what I want to do. It's no different from like, you know what I'm saying? A kid who wants to be a basketball player and that's what he do. He go to the gym every day. He work it out in the gym every day. It's the same thing. It's like, all right. So now it really got to be a moment where we got to actually refocus, recalibrate, rethink some things, restructure some things and, you know, come out stronger, come out better for it, you know. Um, so anyway, I guess I guess we call that event. I guess we call that. I don't know what we call it. You know what I'm saying? We just going to call it. And um, I, I appreciate y'all if y'all was listening, if y'all, you know, what I'm saying just chilling like well i'm just waiting for the beast to start that's cool too <laughs> you know we gonna get it there we gonna do it all um just trying to see you know what i'm saying and shout out to chris Reed beast and everyone that's in who's coming in later to the chat peace and blessings djw man i appreciate you yeah um I had some little struggles in the in the beginning reg my music grace and peace was good King Willie, King Willie, <laughs> I think that's Willie, Willie changed his name, that's right, that's right, when you, when you capture the throne, that's what you do, you capture the throne, that's what you do, you know what I'm saying, uh, tap the tempo in for the vocal, uh, uh, oh, somebody had already started off with a question, so that's what I'm saying, that would have took me somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, Michael Jackson took five years to make his last album, Dr. Dre makes 200 plus songs for one album. Think about that, right? Think about that that process. You know what I'm saying? And we always we always know that we always know that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of these artists that's how they work. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not it's not all right, I'm finna make 13 songs and um that's finna be my album and it's like, all right, cool. We make 13 songs, we keep in every last one of those songs and that's the album. It's never like that, right? It's always the art, at least that's what they say. And um if you're doing something and it's your job, if you're doing something it's your career, if you're doing something it's your life, if you really about that life, you say I live in the studio, I always got a pen and pad. I always got my phone writing lyrics. I always getting beats from producers. Yeah, I, I would expect that your output for your project should be a lot more than what the project actually was. So if you want to make a 10 track album, I would expect you to have much more than 10 songs, you know, at the end of the process. Uh, the first album that I worked on with my buddy Brian James we, I think the album ended up being about 15 tracks. I think the album was about 15 tracks. And I think to make those 15 tracks, I think we did double that. Uh, I think, so I think in total was about 30 tracks. And then in that 30, you know, you probably had five that was like, you shouldn't even be on the list. Like you, you, you really don't even belong here. It's like you, you like a freestyle and a half, 
you not really you you the, the idea of the track is not fleshed out you know what i'm saying bars was what they was the beat was what it was so five of y'all could just go and then it was like five that was like okay we're not really sure we might have to really work on these some more but we like them right it's like ah oh, you know what do we do with those five that are not sure but we want to work on them and then there's another five that's like oh no no these are the ones these for sure these these is good these are good to go we know we want these five the beats is right they need to be the bars is where they need to be the delivery the mix everything is exactly where it need to be we good on them five and then it's just like the last five that's just like how do we choose between these because we don't want a a a 25 or a 20 track album which is funny now that chris brown is dropping like 40 track dual double disc albums in the age of streaming but this was back when it was all on cd so like for some for some underground uh, unsigned artists and producer to like do a double disc uh album would that just doesn't make sense you had to cram everything into an actual cd right uh so you know we would have had to put would have had to have two cds so it's like all right well, how do you choose between you know this song and that song that's a whole better position to be in as a music producer and artist that's a better position to be in where it's like i have too much to choose from uh versus uh, I, don't, I don't feel like i've been making enough or i don't feel like it's been getting it's been to the point where it should be enough right um but it's it's important to uh it's important to take time on your craft man it's important to take time so we didn't you know what i'm saying had some opportunities to you know just talk and just get some things some stuff out of my mind and my head i got a lot of like big stuff happening and not like to be like oh yeah i'm bragging or like oh like no i'm not bragging i'm just saying there's like big changes coming to my life very soon uh and so with that you know what i'm saying um i'm prayerful i'm praying i'm praying that god um gives me wisdom and insight and grace and um and direction and like real direction to where it can be like okay you've been doing this it's time to pivot or it's time to turn it up it's time to go in it's time to go harder you know it's time to it's time to time to do even more right i don't know <laughs> we just got to see what we just got to see what happens but you know so far so good everything has been great so we're going to get into some music the last video i dropped was basically just like me playing some piano and it's like stuff like that i'm trying to get out of my you know but i'm just i got stuff i got to get off my mind and out of my heart it's like that video, that video and and that I'm not trying to say I'm the greatest piano player. This is what I'm trying to say. Uh, um, it takes a lot to create something and put it out for somebody to hear and receive critique or 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 even just they hear it. It's like like for you, it's like that was just a cool moment. Or, you know, it sounds good. Or you love your music. You know, it's all of those different things. But it's the minute that you record it and you let somebody else hear it, now it becomes, it's, it's how you're judging it. Or it's how the other people are receiving it. And it's like, you either want to hear something good or you don't want to hear anything at all. But the process of that was so important for me because it was, Chris, just just do the thing you want to do it's like you want to do all these things but you know this you know this is what you want you know this is what you want to do you don't want the camera on you right now you want to actually just play some notes so if that's what you want to do do it and if you like what you hear, if you like how it come out, if you want to share it, then share it. It's really just that simple. It's really that easy. It's really just like, don't complicate things. And personally, I was like, I really enjoyed the process 
of creating that video of actually like doing the screen record, being inside of reason, setting everything up and just actually just playing something that was calm and relaxing. Not a, not an 808 in sight, not a trap drum in sight. <laughs> and just, you know what I'm saying? Just get now, man. I used to work at Disneyland. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something I used to do that I wasn't supposed to be doing, but I used to do it. So at Disneyland, they have these pianos. They have these grand pianos. They got it's a bunch of pianos at Disneyland, like all over the place, like all throughout the place. It's like pianos. People play piano. They have performances where people play pianos, pianos everywhere. And that was probably like the one thing that I loved about piano. So I used to work there overnight so i would go in 12 midnight and have to work right so you have to work but they had these practice rooms and they had these stage rooms and they had these rehearsal halls and all these different places and they would just have these beautiful beautiful grand pianos and they would just be off in the corner and you know i guess when they have their dance routine people come in to do the dance or whatever if somebody comes they play piano and they practice the dance routine or whatever however they use that room for whatever they use it for and you know in between me doing my work and what i'm actually supposed to be doing there to get paid in between me actually doing the work and breaks and lunchtime and stuff like that i sneak away to go to these rooms to just play piano, you know, and I'll just be in there and just playing and just coming up with chords and hearing different progressions and hearing different melodies. But then also it's like you're playing on this instrument that like you can't afford. You probably won't have access to. You don't have room for in your one bedroom apartment. Like you're playing on this instrument at this place in this room. And it's like, you don't have to use like your reverb. Like we don't have to pull up a RV seven, you know, we don't have to pull up a reverb from reason. Like, nah, you're actually in this great hall. And when you hit that key, you can hear how it reverberates throughout the room. And like, just, just that idea of just being in there would just be like, this is really cool. And just really just enjoy the process of doing that. And I don't know, maybe, you know, some some of it is like, oh, you're not really supposed to be doing that. And, you know, saying you could get caught. Uh, maybe that comes into play. Maybe it's like, oh, somebody's going to walk by and hear you and be like, hey, we want to you know hire you for this. Wow, you sound great. I don't know. Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's like somebody's going to come out and hear you. Like, oh, wow, that sounds really good. Don't know what you're looking for, but just in the moments of like, oh, wow, I can actually sit at this piano that's at the right height. I can position myself the right way and actually be able to play like not not like on my on my little not like on my little setup where like the keyboard is like up here like this, but like actually be able to like play, you know, what I'm saying like that was like really cool. Like that's a real cool experience. So I think of my moments like that and stuff like that, where it's like sometimes you just got to vibe. You got to really vibe. You got to really put yourself in the creative space and in the head space to make music before you actually make music. So my dad, he often sends me songs. He'll send me songs when he goes to work because we used to work at we used to work there together, actually. Um, and that was a, that was an experience in itself. But since then, he still works overnight. I don't work overnight but he still works overnight um he works at a at a hospital and so he always is up late sending me songs and music it's weird it's kind of like uh it's kind of like um in drumline in drumline nick cannon's character is like struggling with his sound and he 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 just found out like the band just found out that he can't read music and he's going through this period of time where he's not really sure, you know, what's going to happen next with him and his music. And then at that point in time, his dad, who he's estranged from, um, who he never had a good relationship with, his dad just sends him a box of cassettes 
and it's all this music that he's never really experienced or listened to or like he's not familiar with it's not like stuff he really grew up listening to um and then it was some stuff in there his dad actually played like his dad was a drummer his dad actually plays so it's like his music too so it's like he's listening to these tapes and now he's getting all these ideas you know saying he's like playing along to the tape and um it's that kind of like familial bond that's happening in the movie or whatever and it's like oh you know what i'm saying he kind of grows matures a little bit anyway so it's kind of like that so like my dad when he's at work he'll send me stuff and sometimes i wouldn't listen to it I would just be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I, yeah, I'm, I, li I would lie to my dad. He, he he might watch this stream. I'm sorry, dad. But I told him before that I was like, dad, I'll be asleep or <laughs> I don't be that. Nah. <laughs> you send me this music, you know what I'm saying? Cameo or, you know what I'm saying? Whoever you send me, man, I don't be listening to it. But I'm bringing it up to say, now I actually listen to it. Now I take time to listen to it because... I kind of get that same feeling. I get that same like inspiration, like put yourself in the mind of music. You know what I'm saying? He'll come over, we'll play drums together. You know, we play the drums. I'll try to play some bass or, you know, whatever we end up doing, you know, just having fun, practicing, um, and, um, you know, getting back to the, to the roots of music, you know? And so like, I sometimes take for granted his mind for music. Like he grew up playing drums, you know, and, and being in bands and playing in marching band. And he has a real good ear and taste for music, especially rhythm and syncopation. And um, he has all that. And so it's like, okay, now, you know, as of recently, now it's like, okay, if, if pop send you something, then you should listen to it. You should check it out. Maybe it's his vibe for the night. Maybe it's what he listening to to get through the night. But just listen to it. So, like, last night we was listening. We was listening to Rigor Mortis by Cameo. And then I told him, I said, oh, wow, you know, DJ Quick sampled this. Um, so then I sent him back the DJ Quick version. So it's like this. He's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I used to dance to this back in the day. So he sends me this song. Then I sent him the DJ Quick sampled ver one, right? And so we just kind of like going back and forth like, oh, well, have you heard this? Oh, well, have you heard that? That was important for me, you know what I'm saying, in terms of getting my mind ready for, you know, music and um, and just the thought process of it. To tell you guys the truth, I listen to podcasts way more than I listen to music. Um, in my car, my little stereo system is busted. <laughs> <laughs> so like I used to like play a lot of music because I had like the subs and amps back there and everything like that. But as of late, it's been busted. I got to I got to spend some money and actually get that fixed. But I'm bringing this up to say I used to play a lot of music in my car. But since my radio hasn't been working, I don't like playing music. So I use my AirPods and I'll listen. So sometimes I listen to music, but more often than not. I'm listening to a podcast. So number one podcast I like to listen to is probably like Joe Button's podcast. I like listening to his podcast because this is this is why. Because I really feel like there's honesty coming from this podcast. And the thing about it is like, you know, it's not a lot of honesty in the world. So even if there is, you know, the themes and the and the conversation, you know, might not be befitting for everyone, but his approach and the approach of the podcast, I really appreciate. So I like listening to it. And it's funny. I listen to some other podcasts, some some I like to listen to just for, you know, humor. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I listen to like the Breakfast Club, uh, they little replays and stuff like that. Um, so it's a lot of podcasts I listen to. You know, there's, there's different like NPR podcasts. Michael Glad Malcolm Gladwell has a podcast I like to listen to. Um, and so it's like sometimes you just listen to the audio books or podcasts, all these words and stuff. I told myself I'm doing it because I'm basically trying to like, I don't know, be smarter or be better. Actually, like, you know, I'm listening to something. I don't know. Hold on real quick.
So let's 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 chill on the vent. <laughs> Let me actually uh recenter and refocus myself over here to this area. So um I was working on this last night. I was working on this. And um I don't know if you guys can see this. These are some acapellas. These are acapellas as a, that I got from Simon Servita. And um, though I think he's totally cool with it, I'm going to just wait till I actually hear back from him to see if it's okay. Because uh, I wanted to actually play it. So he did this song yesterday. Uh, he did this song yesterday. Well, he didn't do the song yesterday. He did this video yesterday when um, he was uh, working with a amateur song, uh, amateur rapper. I thought it was so interesting that he called <laughs> he called this man he called this man an amateur. <laughs> this is this video right here uh, from Salman Savita. Can I make a hit with an amateur rapper? And so, uh, you know, I'm saying he makes the beat and they kind of work on the lyrics together and, you know, the whole thing, you know, everything like that. Right. And so um, at the end, you know, he says, oh, you know, I'm, I'll give you guys I'll give you guys the uh, acapellas for free. And um, I was like, dope, let's let's check it out and let's see, you know, what I'm saying what we can what we can put together with it. Um, and so I did I did all of the stuff that it asked you to do so that you can get the acapella, just something about Spotify, follow them, follow them on Spotify and like the song. And then you get the download link. You get the download link for, uh, you get the download link for the acapella. So I have these acapellas here um i'm trying to find this little part where it actually says it oh here it is right here so it says it right here i'm also going to give you guys the vocals for free so you got the vocals in and that was that's that's pretty interesting in itself um um is actually getting those vocals it sounds pretty good it's actually a pretty good pretty good sound but i'll wait for simon savita to actually give me the okay before i play it live on stream especially because um, especially because the song is not actually out yet. The, so the song doesn't come out until tomorrow. The song doesn't come out until tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I just won't play it. But that was the beat that I, I kind of cooked up around. <laughs>
All right, so uh, we're going we gonna, to we gonna work on that today. Um, um, I, um, in high school, high school? Is that what I'm trying to say? High school? I played trumpet. I started playing trumpet in middle school. I was like eighth grade. And um, that was dope. Trumpet was dope. Playing trumpet. Let me see if this thing is off. Turn this guy off. Save changes. No, don't save nothing. I started playing trumpet in eighth grade. So that was like my first like actual like lessons being taught, you know, learning scales and chords and reading music and everything like that. So I started learning it there. And then um, after that, I um, started um, playing trumpet. I played trumpet for like two years. So trumpet was really cool. That's where I started. And then I kind of knew how to read the music. So then I was like, oh, what if I go into something else? That uh, might be just as easy. So I was like, oh, yeah, piano. So in 10th grade, so, so 8th grade, ninth grade, playing trumpet. Okay, 10th grade, um, I, I switched to piano. So they had a piano class in my 10th grade at my high school. So I was playing piano, um, trying to learn some stuff from there. And um, that was actually the first time I ever got introduced to MIDI, uh, the, the piano teacher, all these pianos were like in the um, classroom. They weren't MIDI keyboards. They were actual like, I don't know, Yamaha, some kind of Yamaha pianos or something like that. And um, on the back of the pianos, uh, they had these two little sections that said MIDI in and MIDI out. And I was like, what is that? I was like, what? You know, I asked the teacher, I was like, what is that? And then he was like, he was like, I'm going to show you what that is one day. And he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just keep on. He was like a real, he was a real cool teacher, man. He would talk like this, man. And you know what I'm saying? Hey, you just got to go with the vibe. Hey, what y'all doing up in here, man? What, why y'all acting like that, man? Come on, man. We finna, hey, 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 hey. If it sound good, it sound good, man. He would talk just like that. <laughs> he would talk like that. And uh, we would just laugh. <laughs> why he talk like that? But he was cool, man. He was a cool teacher, man strict harsh but cool so one day he's like, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that so he brings in this other device this it, it, what what i know now is like a rack it was like a rack a rack instrument some kind of rack instrument i don't know what it was at the time um but you know if you have a a rack instrument you know, like Yamaha has some, you know, different people have like the motif, like you can get the motif as a rack instrument and then you just hook the MIDI in and MIDI out. You just hook them up. So this is what he did for this 10th grade class that knows nothing about music or music production. Um, and he brings it in and he hooks it up and it's essentially it's essentially the same way that MIDI works. But in live and in person, I was like, oh, whoa. So, you know, on our keyboard, we could play like piano, strings, electric piano, organ and harpsichord. That's pretty much all you get. Right. Uh, sound module. Mm, yes, maybe that that sounds that sounds a lot closer to it. Yes, maybe sound module. Yes, it comes in. The, it comes in the size of a rack, something you could put on a rack so i call it a rack instrument um but yes he had brought in this sound module and uh it had all these sounds in it it had a ton of sounds had a midi out midi in and you could plug that into the keyboard and then you could actually when you play your key on your keyboard you could play the sound from the sound module and I just thought that was mind blowing. I was like, whoa, hold on. So you mean you can actually play other sounds? You don't have to just get these piano sounds? He's like, yeah, we got bass guitar. He's played a little bass guitar. Boom, 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 boom. We got drums. He played drums. I'm like, whoa, we making all this stuff? That was the first introduction to like music production. <laughs> introduction to music production. Um, that was the first one. And so like that was that was that was dope that was interesting to experience that uh that whole little situation so um i brought that up man i man i wish i i wish i could i wish i could say 
I was lying. <laughs> what I say, I really just be all over the place, but I really do. I really do just be all over the place. All right, so um, I had got a, I got a message about uh, volume, about volume, and uh, it wouldn't be so you old exactly. Yeah, man, pretty much. <laughs> so you old. <laughs> Oh man, Casio keyboard with a sequencer. Similar, right? Similar. That it was that your was that your first introduction? Um, favorite. You know, what I'm saying my favorite movie is uh, Hustle and Flow. I like how he was. He came in. You know, what I'm saying he was using the instrument. He was using the instruments. He was using the keyboard and the MPC to make the beat. I thought that was super cool. I thought that was the coolest thing I ever seen. A lot of things amaze me with music. It doesn't take a whole lot. Um, dope, dope. Willie says this Casio keyboard with a sequencer. Dope. Yeah, that that was mine. Using that sound module to play different sounds. Um, couldn't like record it or anything like that. But actually, actually being able to go through that process, like now today, it's like, all right, yeah, you get. Uh, you get a bunch of VSTs and, you know, these reason instruments. Yeah, you can play. You can pretty much find any sound you want to sound, any any sound you want to find. Um, But back then, it would have been the first time coming in contact with something like that. All right. So. Let's. Um. Uh, so for me, like, I don't have a way to monitor the sound for me. So um, my voice is where my voice is at. Okay. Uh, that's going to sound squeaky. Sorry. I got to do it one more time. Here we go. All right. So my voice is going to sound how my voice sounds. This is, this is where it's going to be at. This is where it's going to be at for the duration of, you know, the time spent here in this place making these music. Um, let's play something that sounds really good, Chris. Let's let's make it sound really good. Don't don't make it sound bad. Don't don't make it sound bad, Chris. Make it sound really good. OK, I'll make it sound really good. OK, here we go. I think that's a good start, Chris. I think that's a good start. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay. You, you haven't let us down so far. You haven't let us down so far. Just go back to that first chord. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Now let's do something different, you know, but not too different. All right. All right. All right. So I'm just playing the music right now to actually get the sound so that my voice and the sound of the DAW are, where are they? It, is it like, is one still too loud than the other one? Does it matter? You know, let me know. We're just playing some music, playing some music, playing some music. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get the understanding. Do everything sound good? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why it's like everything shouldn't be changing from time to time, but sometimes I guess that's just what happens. It's like it's like different settings for um it's like different settings for when I'm recording videos cuz I use OBS to record videos. It's like different settings for recording videos and recording um different settings for recording video and recording uh Live streaming, man. Well, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing about that. Like, try raising DAW about eight. Let's test. Here's the thing about that. See, I can see because I'm looking at my meters on OBS. I can see like that's 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 what I'm using. I'm looking at my metering, and I'm like the the OBS DAW. Uh. The OBS doll right there sounds says we're sounding good. Says we're good to go. 
You know what I'm saying? Say, say, it say we good. Let me see. Can I show this? So like, all right, look, look. So here's my reason. So reason is down there. And then here's my voice. And so like, there's the difference between the two. So. I think what 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 ends up happening is like like when like I like I played that beat for example it's like the whole beat so it's drums kick yeah, and everything in it and um it's just coming through it's just blaring cuz it's everything is as loud as it it can be right everything is where it, it can be so um when you're first making the beat it's like one thing um that's what I'm saying. So you could play harder, you could play softer, the beat could be complete, the beat could be at its beginnings. Um, I do have some fail safes in place, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys some of the things I do for my uh filters in OBS. So I think you can see this. Yes, you can see this. So I have some gain just a little bit on this microphone. What I learned is that this microphone, there's a couple ways that you can turn up the volume on the microphone right um there's a couple ways to see that there's a couple ways you could turn up and turn down the volume on the microphone the this microphone has its own built-in gain right it has its own built-in gain so let me see let me see if i could oh yeah i like stuff like this too by the way y'all Like when I see other streamers do stuff like this, like this is stuff I really like. Okay, so it's it's focusing on my owl. All right, so anyway, those that know, okay, so this is the blue Yeti, right? So it has a gain knob right here, right? So usually, usually this is what I use if I have somebody on my stream that's like, yo. Uh, can you turn your volume on your mic up? I usually will use this and the reason why is because as I'm sitting here and I'm doing my thing I can just do like this and I can just turn it up right and I could just turn it up until you know it, it gets a little bit louder right so so that that would be that situation The owl is just looking looking right at y'all dead in your face and so that's that. All right, now let's zoom back out. Okay. So that's what I would that's what I would do, right? It's weird too cuz I like this shot. I like the way the composition of it is, but you just got to look at the back of my head. <laughs> some other little like i have some other placements i could do for that camera one day we'll do that too maybe we'll work that out on this stream too just a little more on the mic let's see all right so let me see so now we uh boop all right so look we just put the mic oh 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 wait let me not do that i uh, hold on Willie. this is what i'm gonna do so now i'm gonna actually turn the mic back around because now this is the front of the mic. Now you tell me how that sounds. And the reason why is because this microphone has a lot of different patterns that you can use. Um, the original typical pattern is to use it as a cordial microphone, uh, which means just one pattern. And it's whatever is directly in front of the mic. That's, that's what's picking up the audio. Um, so when it was turned backwards it didn't pick up audio as well well look, look, look. now it's hot all right uh, let's see, let me see let me see let me see okay cool let's go down all right boom all right so my voice shouldn't be as hot hot fire hot like fire um 
So, so, um, yeah. Anyway, it has a bunch of different patterns. It has like a pan mode. So like you can, you know what I'm saying? The left side, right side, right. You know what I'm saying? If you're speaking into it like that, you know, get that ASMR vibes popping It has a pan mode It has the first, the first frontal cordial mold. Um, and then it has where it's like all the microphones are on. So it just picks up mic. It just picks up volume from the top, the sides, the back, everywhere. Um, so it has a couple of different modes. So anyway, it really just depends on how we're using the mic. All right. So now back to these filters, I was talking about filters on the, on the audio. Okay. So back to these filters, I have some gain from OBS just because sometimes you just need a little bit more, a little bit more gain. We have this noise suppression, which helps with all of these, my fan blowing and all this background stuff. There was a noise gate, but it looks like I don't have the noise gate on now. So now I really don't know how much, how this thing sounds. It probably sounds terrible. That probably, I don't know. You tell me noise gate on or noise gate off. Usually I have this noise gate on, but it looks like it was off. So y'all probably could hear my fan that whole time anyway. Anyway, I have a limiter. So I got my limiter. It's not set to zero db is actually set to negative one db so you at no point should you ever actually get volume from my stream that goes above negative one db okay and then we got a compressor on there's no output gain on the compressor that's just to kind of help you know when I'm talking loud, talking low, you know what I'm saying? Everything should be good from there. So those are my filters that I'm using um, when I'm using uh, OBS. Those are my filters from, from my OBS setup. And for the most part, they help. They help a lot. Now, there is one thing I can do. See, it has this side chain ducking source. I was thinking about that. I'm trying to see... Let's 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 just let's, let's try that. So I'm gonna put it on DAW, and I think I think that what it does is it's going to let me see. I let me. I never did it before. So which one is being ducked? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe nothing's being ducked. Side chaining ducking source. And we're just gonna turn it off for now, because there's a way that you can you know use the compressor so that you know so that when the music comes in the voice gets when your voice is coming in the music gets lower so let's do that let's go to the DAW and um I'll go to filters sounds great awesome we're gonna put on another compressor because now I'm just curious now I just want to see um we'll put it on this blue and so I'm talking right now I'm gonna play some chords right I'm gonna play some chords here we go and then I'm going to talk and see if that, no, nah, I didn't really duck any of the sound down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's, let's dramatically change it. Let's put a whole lot of ratio, a whole lot of threshold. All right. So there, oh, ooh, yeah, that did it. That ducked it down. Okay. Let's make that not so dramatic then. Put it like that. So here's some music. And then I'm gonna start talking and then it should duck the music. Oh, y'all tell me though, does that sound right? Should we do it like that? Or should we just kind of leave it? You know, it doesn't matter to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm flexible, I'm, I'm all good either way. So if I'm not talking, then you know what I'm saying? It just plays regular. Ooh. Ducked a lot, huh? Yeah, I was look okay, yeah. So we can pull down and pull down this threshold here. I thought I was showing y'all, but I think I switched over. Here we go. Here, so I'm using this filter in OBS. Here's my thresh, here's my settings. So uh let's see. We don't want it to duck as much. So let's take the ratio down some. And let's see if that does it. So we'll play, uh, you know, we'll play something real quick. 
play. So here's our test for the doll. And then as we talk, it does it does work. It does duck it down as we talk. And so that's good to know it does it. And then we can actually just change the settings how we want it to be. Sometimes it's hard to talk while I'm playing. So like, so I haven't like figured that thing out yet. Like when people sing and they actually play music, but I'm gonna try my very best to like keep going. So you can see like right there, I like stopped talking, but it was like, A, B, C, D, F, G. <laughs> Just. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, let's actually, uh, let's, let's actually get into, uh, let's actually get back into reason now. So there, there's that, there that is, there's that OBS, uh, here, there's that OBS, um, uh, tips for the day. All right. I, I like this. I like this pace. This is this is good pace for me. This this is this is pace for one track. It's a one track pace right here. We're gonna start off. We're not gonna start off with a stage, and we're not gonna start off with this scenic. We're gonna start off with a loop. We're gonna start off with some loops. Uh one day one day we'll get it um i'm gonna pull in auto chord i'm gonna pull in auto chord by chris reed beats because i have some patterns in here that's already made up and um It's coming in so low. Let's lose some different patches here. Playing very low. enough is it too loud though is the question now i'm gonna I'm 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 play it while i actually talk to it see if it does the ducking so with this um with this um combinator that we created i can see it is doing some ducking in the meters all right so with the combinator that we created we actually have this sound shape and um it's allowing us to um I can see that the music is probably a lot louder. I don't know. One day, I, it probably was smart is if I had headphones where I could actually listen to the stream with it. You know, um, I promise y'all I'll do some testing the night before. I do do testing anyway. <laughs> this combinator with the sound shape that that makes it really easy to just change the shape of that Europa. 
and it does it does work with other instruments like you put another instrument here but if it's a europa patch then it's already patched in for that sound shape so i was thinking is maybe i'll make some other versions and i'll call this auto chord europa so that way people know to use the europa instead of having my name there um if you guys have not uh grab this auto chord you can grab it and some other patches by using the link in the description i'm pretty sure pretty sure the link in the description has it where you can actually do it so i like this i think i would just dial in a little bit of reverb Okay, let's turn the bass on. I don't know what the bass sounds for that. Awesome. I really like I really like baseline generator, but I don't like this. I don't like this. I like baseline generator, but I don't like I don't like uh I don't like this. I feel like this little part right here. I feel like I just wish they had did something different with it. A, a easier way. More like this. If they had this poly step under here, because like the way you move up and down on these things, like ugh, I never get into it. Trap basics. So with the with the combinator, you know, without this baseline generator, it just plays this pattern, this same little boom, boom, boom. Mm, 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 mm.
up, Holla Sounds? Sounds like a good EDM track. we have that and that's our base we know at one point at some point we, we at some point we're gonna want it to do this gonna want it to do that rise send this track real quick so I can just get that base and just get that there and just get that out of there so let's do that real quick we'll get that out of there the sound wider right now um let's see let's work something out so it's not really a wide sound so let's go into this europa and let's actually so it has two engines active maybe we can just slightly pan one and slightly pan the other one Oh wait, that's not that. So where are we at? So here's our engine. Just want to kind of make it a little wider. I'm not making anything right now. Right now I'm just 
filling out this sound. This patch is already like made. I'm just trying to fill out the sound. But in the patch, I have like a, a automatic bass, like, you know, that goes, that plays along with it. So you can turn that on or off, but. I just wanted to make this wider. I want to make this Europa. Right now it's coming in very mono. And I just wanted to have a wider sound. Essentially is what I'm saying. <clears throat> um, so I'm just looking around at this Europa patch, looking around at it, just like, okay, there's a global pan. I don't want this, this global pan is this. terms of like with it just sounds like it's just coming at just very mono i guess i want it's got a nice little pop on there i don't like that see look at here it only has one output coming Let's see if Reason has something in here. Literally, I just want to make, I just want the sound to be wider.
take it. And now I want like some really lush, super lush, like stabby bells. A bell, like a super lush bell, a lot of noise. See what they give us. that melody let's lay the melody i'm gonna change the sound though that's more like what i was looking for that that sound right there let's crank up the reverb say it's not working what do you mean give give us some more details when you say it's not working are you not getting sound will it not pull up in reason will the vst not load what do you mean by not working okay now we need some variation so that that's just not what's happening all over all over blend so um start what if we just reversed it actually what if we just reversed the pattern so reverse and now let's just fit in it ah i really don't like that feature either sometimes uh, play notes Um, I think it's in options. Hold on. Trigger notes while editing. Yes, no, move, move. I don't want that. I don't want that. It's a different rhythm, so it should come in slower. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, do you have a full version of Analog Lab? 
um do you have a do you have a uh do you have a full version of analog lab or do you have one of those one of those pirate bay versions of analog lab that's the first thing or even like the demo version like the demo version won't do it i had the same issue when i did the guitar center video where i took the track from guitar center i took the track from guitar center and um uh, mr frosty beast man what's good i took the i bounced the sounds from guitar center but some of them bounced and some of them didn't so some of the sounds like the horns the session horns from contact did not bounce when i went so i just went up here to export bounce mixer channels even though everything was set in this bounce area, when I went to go bounce it, it didn't bounce. And I don't know why it didn't do that. But like, if I do it now, it's the background noise you hear. This is Reason's background noise when it's doing the export. I thought that was so interesting. All right, stop. I don't need that much. So like, let's see let's see if mine did it uh we'll go here documents bunch of documents um and in here well it probably just didn't bounce in at all because i didn't finish the bounce okay let's go back um, yeah, so certain VSTs, because of how it's set, it's an option in the VST. And I think because that was like a, that was like a, uh, hey, I appreciate that, man. I hope I get some, I hope I get that too. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't, it just wouldn't bounce it. Right. So, uh, it just didn't bounce it. So it was set to bounce everything else bounced music production so let's do that everything else bounced but for some reason the session horns didn't and that was the thing i liked the most dun 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 um i really like that the most but um for some reason it didn't bounce so uh not sure why um so holla sounds is kind of dealing with a similar issue um Bounce document two. All right, that that bounced, and that bounced. All right, so both of those they bounced. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we were chopping it up. We were chopping it up. I gotta get back to you. I gotta get back to you on that. Um why it didn't bounce like are you not getting a bounce folder at all that would be a reason thing if it's just not bouncing it at all um try different ways to bounce it as well right because you know you can just bounce it here you can bounce in place and that'll just give you another bounce or you can do yeah like that hard bounce where it's bounce mixer channels and it literally just takes the actual mixer channel and bounces it um that worked for me. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why you're, you're having that issue, Holla Sounds. You might have some stuff in your settings that you need to, you know, work around.
Okay, so we have this piano here. And I want this to uh, be a lot more dreamy. This is not gonna be what I wanted. I told y'all. I told y'all what's gonna be what I. I told y'all. Nah, I like that. I like that, but I like having that with a clean version of it as well. So let's add another one and let's have that in there too. I'm using a different reverb too. I want to see if uh, I get a different sound. another melody or counter melody just like da 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 like that oh, I like the way that sounds
like the legato better than the retriggered. a good question. You may ask. I think I'm somewhere in the middle of I mean that's typically what ends up happening i think this live stream probably wouldn't be the one for it because uh, i just was experiencing a lot of just experiencing a lot of uh separation from my music and music making process so right now what i'm trying to do is 
build elements that I like and work specifically and intently on sounds and feelings. So like, for example, this sound. I don't necessarily like the sound, but I like the feeling like I like the direction that it takes me. I like the fact of like where it's going, like the style of music. And so from the beginning, I just thought that this was a little captivating. This uh this pattern here, and I actually did some stuff to this Europa that I'm gonna go back in and do some automation to. And that's the other part. It's it's really man. It really is just really, man. I'm really just trying to just enjoy the process um, without pressure. I hope that makes sense. Circuit. I'm not 100% sure what you're asking. Um, with the uh, okay, so if you would, if you have to choose the new instrument and arpeggiation, which of the two would you choose? Just, I guess if I'm choosing between those two, the the instrument. I really like, I like the melody that's there and the, and the movement of it. It's just the sound. The sound. Something about the sound caught my attention, but the more I'm listening to it, the less I like it. <laughs> If I force myself, if I force myself and I say, hey, Chris, when you make this track, you have to put it on B-Stars or you have to put it somewhere for someone to listen to. Like, you have to do it. You can't just make it and just make it on your live stream. Like, if I told myself that, I think things would go, like, a lot different. Because, um, like, Holla Sounds, I'm kind of with you. Like, I kind of would want to just, like, leave this and maybe leave it as a loop or, like, take it and, like, do something else with it but like the today is just about process today is really just about getting in the in the in the, in the mood to just actually just make music and um so like and there's another thing like beat i know but it's the king man willie man it's not it's not it, it ain't even there yet that's the other thing it's, it's it ain't worthy of a save yet if if it leaves, if it leaves, it leaves. It, it ain't even. It's not even there yet. There's gonna be a point. There's gonna be a point in time where I'm gonna be like, <laughs> if I don't save it now, I'm gonna be mad at myself. But now it's it's not the time. But I feel you. <laughs> Thank you. 
maybe we make a little game out of it. We make a little game out of it and make y'all nervous and say, oh man, is he ever gonna save it? I'd have saved it already. Okay, now now it's now it's now it's now it's there now now it would, now it would be a little now that i'm starting to like hear more and feel more now now it would now it would be upset now it would be like oh shoot dang the computer crashed uh i'll never be able to make that again Ugh. i'll, I'll never feel that way <laughs> Another big riser there.
too low. Oh, it's on C1. Let's just map those bases. Okay, let's actually just listen to this first. <laughs> We're going to a different world. Check it out. I honestly don't trust it for this. I really don't. section i will use that for another section is what i would do with that i would i would like have the baseline generator come on to like play another little melody but i really like the, i just like the i like that pulsing pumping you know doom 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 i just like that for some and I love that we like kind of like into this for like an hour. And I haven't touched a drum. It's really important to me, y'all. Y'all don't understand the process. How many times I had to resist like throwing in drums that I really knew I didn't want. It's, it's very important for me, y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming along with me on this journey. It's a real journey. It's a real journey for sure. It's a real journey.
that signal app. I'm not sure what that is. Sounds a lot closer. Um, maybe, maybe not.
Um, this is going to change. <laughs> Um... Nah... specific and intentional.
that that's a that's a Chris Reed choice right there. That little hi hat. That's a Chris Reed choice. That's not like a not like a everybody else choice. Definitely a Chris Reed choice. And then yeah, this is there's still to be added to this section. But I like this build up. that goes like back down and that's not what I'm looking for so it's still just something missing there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to this auto chord and um, I need to actually map this out pardon me real quick while I do that um, while I'm getting ready to do that it's been a long time shouldn't have left you Without a dope beat, step two, step two, step, step, step two, step, step two. Fick it, fick it, fick it, fick it, fick it, fick it. What you do when you say, I really bound to get away. I didn't have a button for the like. Okay, so, um, um, I thought I had one in here for that. No. I could have sworn. Oh, I did. That's what happened. Well, anyway, um, what I was about to say was um, thank you guys for watching. I wasn't finna put this one up there. That's not what I wanted to put. But I mean, you know, one on one reason training. ChrisReadBeast.com. If anyone is interested in, um, in it. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, just wanted to say that I appreciate you guys for coming through and, um, you know, rocking with your boy and um, Chris Reed beats as we cook up some stuff and do some venting and, and you know, just kind of relax in the studio. I appreciate you guys. Um, and if you could, if you have not, man, make sure that you leave a like on this video um, as we just continue to cook up and reason. So let me see. Let's get this guy back over here. Ooh, boop. Um, take a moment to uh, say that real quick. Appreciate y'all. No, it's not your fault, it's my fault. <laughs> so so whenever reason does bouncing um the control out will send this jarbled audio so i go in obs and i mute the audio so you guys don't have to hear the jarbled audio and then i forget to unmute the jarbled audio <laughs> 
Um, definitely a lot more stuff coming up, Sasha. We taking this thing slow, but I like the, I like the, I like the um, suggestion. Um, definitely a lot of more, a lot of more. Definitely a lot more percussion elements. Um, I'm gonna just do something real quick. Hold on, y'all. Computer lights off. We're just gonna just come on. We just gotta. We just gotta. It, just get out of here. I gotta. I gotta make like some some mood lights or something. Tell y'all what it look like now. <laughs> it's just. It's just like. Yo, like. Let me get in the mood. Of course I am. Um, dum, 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 dum. Let's be intentional. Let's be very intentional.
Da-dum. Okay, I think that's better. I think. Let's work it out together. Flute and bass notes clashing. All right, let's change this. Uh, change this. I, not a flute, by the way. I don't know. I guess it sounds like a flute. Yeah, actually, it's fluty. Huh. Interesting. into it the more i'm just off on the bass the more i'm just like ah, i wish the bass was something else eh. i'll play it so you can hear it but it's not the it's not the semitones one semitone. It's not 
not. So it's, it's in the it's in the key. In general, overall, listening to the track, it's not yet reached the like massive sound that I was hearing and going for. Um, but like that, that that hasn't happened yet. Sorry, sorry again. That have that hasn't happened yet in terms of uh what I wanted this thing to kind of go into, you know, is, is that general EDM vibe where we're going to start off kind of, you know, mellow. And I think actually, and it's like a huge buildup, but I think the buildup could be even bigger. <laughs> it's already, it's already huge enough. It's already like super long, but just in terms of like, just in terms of like sound, I don't know, whatever. Just let that guy start off by himself. It's a lot of stuff coming in at once right there. So I'm saying it's like a lot. It's a, it's a lot that could be done with it. Um, something happened to. Something happened to my. Uh, Oh, that, that's what happened to it. There it is. that 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 last part that that energy that we we're looking for and it, i had it a little bit with that you know but you guys uh, you guys aren't vibing with you guys aren't vibing with that sound and you know what i'm saying we vibing together All of these sounds sound weird.
stabs. No stabs or no synth. No stabs or no synth. Bring back the piano. Bring back the piano. again one more piano so that because this other piano has a lot of reverb and i like where it's at and i don't want to disturb it the sound was good just don't stab it okay got you so it's not the synth it's the, the stabbing got you 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 i, I feel it i feel it you know what I'm saying? feel it so Maybe just play it as a ad. Let's let's add that in there.
I'm gonna add it in right here. Here we go. I just want I just want them little extra little arps when the when the little beat roll around, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot softer. Also have to figure out why it makes this loud snap it makes this loud little snap pop thing um uh, i figure out why it's doing that it's like boom it go boom the last right now we have two minutes um um but see it's gonna be longer than that um so looking at you know like mm, just build up I think I want this to build out a little longer before this uh, bass note kicks in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so I'm gonna pull all this and then we're gonna have this. Uh... Well, we could just do that. All right, cool. I'm gonna pull all this back. We're gonna have this loop one more time before this bass note comes in. Then we got this low bass coming in. how this 
this only comes in at the beginning. that for all of them do, 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 do. um that's three minutes let's see if we double that hook we double that hook and then have a little smooth smooth little outro It doesn't sound like I have to do something that I'm, I'm just gonna bounce it. I just got because I'm not hearing it when I play it. The way that the clap came in, the way that it comes in. It comes and really good there but not when i play it the rest of the time so let's just single it out it's this stuff i don't do i don't i don't do i don't do this when i'm normally i don't, I don't do this this is a very intentional situation that i don't do and and i like this more than my typical way that I had been going about these streams.
We're just going to lose some of this stuff. Let's try that. Let's let's try that every other. That's what you I got you. Okay, let's hear let's hear that. Have the little have the little feel come in. I feel you. Okay, let's go. I think I need more clap there though. It's not it's not it's not clapping how I want it to. out the look. That's a whole lot. Let's see what that sound like. It is so quick. I gotta speed it up though. I think it's, I think it's too slow. A whole lot going on right there. Keep the low class pattern. Just the first pattern. We can just keep the regular. Also add in some more.
Sasha, thank you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you, man. Get some rest. I appreciate you, man. Get some rest. Thanks for coming through to the stream. I think that will uh that will take us to the 95 percent well, more like 98 yeah that'll take us to the 98 percent
I like that reason has like all these like pre made little like drops and risers and stuff too. I just drop one in there. Maybe that. I drop that in there at the end. <laughs>just listening to crashes right now trying to find a crash that i like one that's nice and long a lot of these crashes are kind of on the um short side so they come in great, but they're not as long as I would like them to be. I'll save you guys the agony, agony, agony. I'll save you guys the agony of hearing a bunch of crashes over and over again. <laughs>
all right um so that's gonna be that one um and what i'm gonna do now uh that's saved and um we're gonna do chris Re special uh so chris Re special beats is um they're beats that have a specific sound they have a specific vibe they're go-to's um they're go-to's of mine so we're just gonna pull up some of these go-to's and um i'm just gonna yeah have some 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 fun at the end here um as we get ready to close out our stream at two um any questions any comments any let me see i, I definitely uh i haven't been looking at the chat for a second here somebody said something else i can't see it though um yeah so let me see Nah, I think I, I got a different problem than just having too much stuff. It's like having too much stuff that doesn't fit a vibe. Like, I think the best thing I ever did um, for, like, this YouTube channel and even, even just in general is when I did, like, the lo-fi, the lo-fi loop, uh, lo-fi music, because what I did was I sat down and I said, make 10 beats that sound the same or similar that have this vibe and put them all together as a compilation then it was like oh okay cool um you know i think i even did them i did them in block mode and i just did i just put a bunch of sounds together i used block mode and i just went through and i just did 10 and so like not like the biggest productions but because they all fit a vibe, then they all had a place. They all had a purpose. Same thing I did like a I did like a folder where I was like, oh, I'ma just do um I'ma do summer walker beats. I was like, uh do do beats like you was trying to do Summer Walker's next album. And then um I did beats, but I also have like uh hooks and stuff that I recorded. So it's like hooks and beats and um they all had the same vibe they all had the same feel so then i had like a bunch of stuff that really just was like r&b but it was like trap and hip-hop and you know what i'm saying so it was just like dope because it was like okay um maybe summer walker doesn't take this but from this you know you can put this together and you can sell these you could get these out um so that was good so just having an actual having a set like something a goal really is the thing that's the problem so like i have a bunch of stuff that's not the problem it's just that it's so much stuff that it's like all right cool and then organization i saw you were saying something about organization earlier organization is important because it's just like ah oh, yeah so and so is looking for beats oh, okay cool let me go through and what do you do oh here's my best beats and it's just like mm, your best beat for that artist might not even be the thing that you think is your best beat or good beat or oh here's my r&b beat like that stuff don't matter they're looking for a specific sound so it should be like you know the organizations 
what's more important, what's more key. And that's that tends to be the problem and the issue. All right, before I forget this chord progression, and I'm sure I done did like three times already. And I'm probably, I'm sure I done did it a couple times before, probably. Got to play the F sharp. Um, melodies too. I was like, uh, I always start with chords. But since chords aren't really the problem, I really should start with melodies since melodies tend to be the problem. That would make sense. Like, oh yeah, you can find a, a you can find a chord, but it's like, yeah, but do you have melody for this, you know? That that would be that should be the focus, right? So I found this new plugin. It's not new at all. People have probably been using it forever, but it is free and it's from Isotope and it's called Vinyl. So uh, I've been using this. Um, so let's use it today. Yeah.
I think that's super cool. <laughs> I think that has a cool little cool little vibe, cool little vibe to it. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, feedback feedback some of this. Let me see this. I'm gonna feed this. I'm gonna feed this back. I'm gonna go back, 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 back in time. Um, the sampling input. We're gonna we're gonna use this master out to be my sampling input. That one. Yeah. So let me see. That way I don't have to do a whole export situation. We're gonna take the mimic. We hit record. And then also, because I'm doing that, then I can actually apply some changes to this guy and hit the spin down at the right time. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Cool. So now we have that. We'll go back up here to our uh, audio. We'll put this back over here on the audio output. And, um, let me see what did I do. Oh, the spin down effect. So we'll turn this off. So that's what it sounds like in all its glory. Now let's hear it in mimic. That's cool, right? That's that's that. Okay, cool. Let's... Speed this guy up to like forty. Let's play some. Oh, I did record.
slow it down. What's going on, Mike? Okay.
Okay. I like that. So let's lay that one. Here we go. something and the light just turned on.
all right y'all i appreciate everybody for coming through to the stream uh this has been another one with your boy chris reed beats um right now we're gonna go through our roll call of course we had coming through to the stream uh djw appreciate you king willie reg mom music tasia my wifey came through circuit scroll i think that secret scroll i think that's how you say that came through good to see you jordan came through uh sasha also came through to the stream today um I, I knew it was gonna happen. I just didn't do nothing about it. Um, all right. Also, we also had coming through to the stream, Mr. Frosty Beast. Think twice. Holla Sounds also came through to the stream. Hung out with your boy, Face the Music, as well as Chuck G and Mike Romando. Appreciate you guys for coming through to the stream, man. Uh, Willie, man, I appreciate you, man. Hanging out with your boy. Um, Thank you guys for coming through. We definitely had a nice little event session earlier. Uh, we got to talk about some stuff and just got to get some stuff out the way. I like the EDM track that we made. I like this last track as well. At least I like the sample from it, the loop. And I like that um, over here digging in my ear. I like the uh, the the foundation that we made and the the workflow that we used to use the sample input to drop that in to mimic and start working on that very easily, as well as the free isotope vinyl plugin. I think you guys can check that out. I think it's super dope. I'm probably gonna chop this up into a video to showcase that vinyl uh, plugin as well. Um, this last portion of the stream, just to show that the process of, you know, turning that into a cool little sample. Um, maybe do that with a couple other sounds and instruments and, 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 and actually like create a, a bunch of samples using that vinyl uh plugin. I think it sounds super dope. You can get some of them warp sounds and and uh you know the noise and crackles and and really turn it into something pretty cool. Um but with that being said, man, I appreciate you guys for coming through to the stream. I'll play you guys out real quick. It's gonna be a quick one, nice little playthrough. <laughs> Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you so much for, you know what I'm saying, hanging out with your boy. It's been real. It uh, means a lot to me. Helping me get out these dreams. And um, hopefully I was able to help you with something in reason as well. Until next time, I bid you a farewell. Peace. Thanks for watching. <laughs>